Dandora. The name has a musical ring to it, and many of her sons have sung her praises. But the music has stopped. It has been replaced by sighs and cries of pain. For Dandora, which is on the fringes of Nairobi, is also an ugly place. It bears the dump site where city trash is discarded. It appears the human scum has been dumped in Dandora as well, in the form of teenage offenders whose rites of passage include violating innocent, defenseless girls. <laughs> But what is it that could drive a mere child to violating another? What turns a boy into a brute? I was scared live fast and die young. Yeah. I was scared to die This is the story of one 17-year-old whom we shall call Omari. He is the leader of a gang called Amsterdam with a membership of about 50 teens. I don't have money to pay for it, I don't have to the if the boys need drugs and alcohol to face the grim realities of life in Dandora, rape is the singular moment they feel in charge of their humiliating experiences by humiliating others. From a life of grinding poverty, they take pride in pounding their victims to nothing. Rape of young girls here is popularly known as kuteka or abduct. Sometimes the gangs keep the girls for weeks. Even months. I told one to be Nilazima Lawa to make a blotch at my dame, so that's this is not to depart. When it happened to this 19 year old girl whom we shall call Karen, her world fell apart. Still, she's grateful for small masses. Samanganya Santa Juno Nicola and Arapianga, Jipatano Gonjoa, and Jipatana Mimba, so I mean Jipatatu Namimba. I cannot feel in giving badge. Saki attack you, I'm Kuba Nuliza Babak and Tamambiazi. Karen's story, unfortunately, is not an isolated one. She's only an addition to the growing list of 18 girls raped here every month, according to an estimate from the non-governmental organization, Koval. And it seems no one is safe, even where parents do their best to keep their girls out of harm's way. Dandora, the city dump site, has also become the dumping grounds of broken dreams. <laughs> In Dandora, dreams of tomorrow are not chased in crowded schools or in college corridors. The child gangs learn to crawl on the fast lane where life is short and brutish. Crime is often associated with the breakdown of law and order. But is this the case in Dandora? Or is this a pointer to a deeper problem, that of a decaying moral fabric? Some of the clubs in town uh, have the culture that as long as it's a, it's, a, it's a girl, they don't want to know how old she is, they go in free. Those things have a correlation, they also affect 
whatever happens here. Parents are not doing what they're supposed to do. And that is why I'm saying that if they take their uh, parental responsibilities and they keep these kids busy, like now, during this period where we are having the teachers are not in schools, this is when kids are doing some things that are not allowed. So what we are seeing in Dandora are examples of young people who have come through life and experienced that they have been neglected by society. So in a lot of ways, actually, we, are, we members of society, have a lot to do with what we have done. If we accept the precept that we are all products of our environment, then we can see what we have planted. We see these young men that seem to be out of control. If this is indeed a reflection of the society that we live in, then dreams of tomorrow for many poor children may just be that. Dreams. Anne Mawathe, Citizen TV.